the amount of cellulite you have as well as its visibility can decrease by increasing your level of physical activity and lowering your level of body fat. Yoga is great for both of these, making it an essential part of the solution to any cellulite problem. To get the most benefit from your yoga workouts, we must practice it for 3 to 4 days a week. So if your goal is to minimize your cellulite's appearance, there are a couple of poses that you should consider. Namaskar. Welcome back to Yoga Fitness with Priyanka Sharma. Today's topic is on yoga for cellulite. Those who want to reduce their heavy thighs or the fats accumulated on their hips area, then this video you must watch it till the end. So let's get started. We'll move to first asan eagle pose. Bend your knees slightly and cross your right leg over your left leg high at the thigh. Then try to double cross it behind the left calf or ankle as you can see on the picture and also if you cannot perform this make it easier you can see on the screen you can do half leg with namaskar in this you're squeezing your thighs tightly and pulling your belly to your spine while you sink lower then you can change your side inhale and exhale left leg bend over your thigh and then same thing you will try to double cross it behind your right calf this time your left arm under your right and back over your top press your palms together so this particular asan is very good to strengthen your thighs you can practice it daily for few deep breaths you can stay there by concentrating at one spot and then breathe in breathe out relax and you can massage and wriggle your legs we move to the second posture goddess pose move your both the toes pointing out keep some distance between your legs your heels are in line facing at each other inhale exhale slowly push your hips down check your knees are pointing out your spine straight inhale few rounds you can practice this exhale you can also see the easier version on the screen inhale exhale and then you can stay there steadily engaging your thighs and butts standing curtsy split engage the muscles in your standing leg for balance so here you can spend few more breaths feeling that nice stretch in your inner outer thighs and your glutes engaging your core relaxing your face muscles and then once you are done you can come back inhale and then you can move your feet together come back to the center point in Utkatasan or chair pose as you can see my both the legs are hip width apart toes pointing in inhale exhale I push my hips back and I try to keep my knees in line of my ankles I extend my arms up from my pelvic area I do not push my hips in front make sure your hips are back and knees are in line in case if this is too much you can also see the easier version with the block squeezing it between your thighs and then this asan is very good to tone up the leg muscles strengthen hip flexors thighs and ankles it also opens up the chest and stretches the shoulders again inhale come up exhale you can relax your both the arms by your side Warrior 3 or Veerpatrasan 3. Stand in Tadasan. Take a deep inhalation. Exhale, bend the trunk forward. Place your palms on your chest. Try to balance there for a few breaths. 
then stretch your hands in front now exhale and simultaneously you are also lifting your left leg up from the floor now if you cannot practice this you can check the easy version shown in the screen by placing your palms on the wall and then you can just do it with one one leg when you find the balance you can come on the mat you can stay here in this pose from 20 to 30 seconds with deep and even breathing while balancing the whole body is to be kept parallel to the floor this asana it helps to contract and tone the abdominal organs and make the leg muscles more stronger and sturdy move to our next exercise so you have to take a low lunge position as you can see your left knee and ankle is placed in one line on the outer side of your left body you can place your left palm on your knees and just keep pulsing here so when you pulse here you will see your left thigh is opening your hips are pushing down and forward so this exercise is very good to strengthen and tone your thighs in case if this is too much you can also take a use of a block you can place your palm on the blocks and then you can practice the same so the other side also same thing inhale exhale will keep happening inhale exhale and keep pulsing down and forward as much you can and then you can rest here for a few breaths we'll move to our next posture in marjurasan variation we can either place our forearms on the floor perpendicular to the ground or you can place your palms right underneath your shoulders your hips and knees are parallel now breathe in and start exhaling you pulse it upward either you can fold your knees or you can keep your legs straight and keep moving up and down this particular posture is very good to tone up your glutes to work on your thighs also it stimulates the metabolism so you can repeat it both the sides 10 10 times with breathing and once you are tired you can rest in child's pose in the continuation of the previous exercise we'll place our palms right underneath our shoulders either on the block or on the floor and then you have to open your leg out as you can see my knees are bent my heels are closer to my hips i'm working on the side of my glutes so it is very good for outer and inner thigh as you can see inhale exhale inhale and you can hold for few breaths there when you are tired you can rest in child's pose we'll move to our next posture cow face pose or gomukhasan slide your right leg back to cross over your left leg squeezing high at the inner thighs you can see your knees are in line open your feet out to the sides of your hips and sit back between your heels inhale and raise your arms up exhale you fold your arms behind at the back you will feel a great release in your hips and butt and a gentle stretching to the thighs also you can check the variation which is displayed on the screen in case if you are a beginner you can place a yoga block or a padding or maybe a pillow underneath your butt you can place your palms on your chest if your shoulders are too tight so you can repeat on the other side inhale raise your both the arms up and exhale slowly move your arms behind at the back you can hold this posture for as long as you like at least 8 to 10 breaths and then you can stay here calm your face inhale exhale come back moving to our next posture locust pose lie down on your belly and then you can either rest your forearms on the floor or you can place your palms behind inhale lift your head your legs your arms up 
you can also give some variations while lifting your legs up or you can uh, go for the beginner's pose by lifting one leg at a time so this pose activate all the muscles in the back of your legs you can repeat this for a few more rounds we'll move to the next posture bridge pose lie on your back with knees bent and feet flat on a mat hip distance apart Press down into your feet and lift your hips and butt off the floor. You can grab your ankles if you can. Inhale, lift your belly up as high as you can. Feel your quadriceps, feel your squeezing your glutes, chin to collarbone. If that is too intense, you can also check the easy version by placing a block between your thighs and then repeat the same for 5 to 8 times and you can stay your inhale and stay for few deep breaths as you breathe out rest your belly down inhale you can interlock your fingers stretch your arms forward and feel the tightening hamstring butt and core muscles this pose tones your hamstring and glutes and then you can rest in pavan muktasan thank you guys for watching this video do subscribe, like, comment below. For more updates, do hit that bell icon. Thank you. Namaste. Stay blessed.